Welcome back everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make box joints using the General Tools Easy Pro Dovetail Jig. I put out a video previously on how to use this jig to cut half blind dovetails. And of course you can do through dovetails as well. There's an entire instruction manual that you can download from General Tools in PDF format if you don't already have it. This is a $68 jig. That's the same price that I paid for it. It's the price that you'll find it for today in Canadian dollars and probably not far off from the American dollar price. To get more value out of this jig, you can also do half inch box joints and that is what I'm going to try and demonstrate today. I've done a video on how to use this jig to do half blind dovetails before. You can check it out in the description below. Now you're only going to use the tail side so that will simplify things a little bit. Second thing I'm going to use is this rough sawn cedar board. It's approximately half inch thick so we're not going to see a really fine fit and finish on this one so don't get too excited. We should get an adequate box joint out of this. I'm going to use my DeWalt router. They recommend a half inch top bearing bit or you can use a half inch straight bit with a half inch guide bushing. Okay, before you get started, you want to draw a reference line to indicate the thickness of your wood. So now I have my reference line. And then I'm going to put the dovetail jig on. Okay, and I can see I'm not quite deep enough for the line, so I'm going to adjust my router. What I like about this DeWalt router is that it adjusts quite easily the dial adjustment, so it makes it a little easier for this kind of operation to adjust for depth. Now that I've got the depth sorted out, the next thing you want to do is have some kind of a, a piece of material in the front because this jig is made for dovetails, you will get a curved end at the front. So you want to avoid that. We're going to uh, put in a scrap piece of pallet wood. You can bring it all the way up if you want to use it to prevent tear out. But for this demonstration, I'm not too concerned with it. Tear out mostly happens at the back. So you can also have a scrap piece at the back if you want to reduce the tear out. I don't know if you can see it on camera here, but there's a tab on the right side of the dovetail jig. That is a reference tab that allows you to line up the right side. That is your starting point. Now in the general tools instructions, what they suggest that you do is you take your half inch bit, you're going to guide it along the left side only on your first pass and you're going to go straight through just the way I'm doing it with this pencil. Then with your second piece, you're going to do the opposite and use the right side as your guide. There we go. That's the first piece cut. Not bad. It looks pretty even so far. So a trick that I use when I'm doing box joints is I'll take the two pieces, the piece that's already cut and the piece that's yet to be cut. That'll be the adjoining piece. And I line the edges up together nice and even. And then I flip it like this. Now that is where I mark the inside right here. So left to that line will be the first hog out. What I'm going to do is probably trim off this little sort of really thin finger here. We won't need that. And again, this is just for demonstration purposes. So I'm not doing a super finished piece here. Before we get started, you can see my pencil mark here. The waist is going to be on this side. So now you can see that's going to be our starting point lined up with that pencil mark and the start tab. Now this time we're going to guide on the right.
So that's the other side cut. Okay, let's see how the fit is. That's not bad. We've had a little bit of chip out because it's cedar and I didn't use a backboard on this. So if you want to avoid a little bit of chip out on the back, you can just use something to uh, catch that. I didn't do it for this demo, so this is just a rough demo piece. But for two pieces of rough lumber joined together with a box joint, this is pretty decent. So this gives me another option for box joints. I can do a half inch size using my dovetail jig or I can do one at 5 8 using my other box joint jig. I'm pretty happy with the results of this. It's a decent fit. If I can just do better on the tear out, I think I'll get better results. What I really wanted to see was how decent the fit would be. I'm getting a really snug fit. The method that they describe in their instruction manual works quite well. The downside to using dovetail jig is that it is primarily designed for dovetails, so you do have to be cognizant of how you cut this using the left side first, then the right side. So if you want to donate to this channel, head on over to my donation page right over here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. There are a couple more videos on this side you can watch. Until next time, thanks for watching and have a great day.